I'm gonna tell you 10 different ways you can make money on YouTube in 2018, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick from TuberTools.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Number one, YouTube ads. We all know about it, but it is a way to make money on YouTube, so I had to get it out of the way. Number two is Super Chat. Super Chat can actually add up over the course of the month. If you're doing a lot of live streaming on your channel, actually, you can do okay on Super Chat, especially if you have a sizable channel or you have something very special that you can offer your viewers via Super Chat. Also, if you have another way to make money on YouTube that is not listed here, make sure you leave it down in the comments for other people that are gonna watch this video. I'm gonna be pinning the best money-making tips, so make sure it's a good one. Number three is affiliate marketing. In most cases, you're gonna make a lot more money off of affiliate marketing than you're ever gonna make on ads. So look into affiliate marketing if you're not familiar with what affiliate marketing is. In a nutshell, it's basically to where you find a product or service that you can send your viewers to, and if your viewers sign up for that product or service, then you are going to get a commission in exchange for sending them there. Yeah. It's pretty easy to do the affiliate thing. I mean, it's almost like free money, it's so easy. But pretty much any channel on YouTube can use amazon.com, and at the very least, just let people know that the gear that you're using and things like that. And over time, it can actually generate a decent amount of money. Number four, services based around the content that you create. As an example, if you have, let's say, a fashion channel, you can offer consulting for fashion. If you have a channel teaching people about coding, you can offer coding as a service. If you know how to edit videos, you can offer video editing as a service. I mean, you're a YouTuber, you know how to edit videos, you can at the very least offer that. Or anything really based around the type of content that you make. Or as your channel grows, if you start letting people know that you do know how to do other specific things that maybe are not exactly based on the content that you make, you can still generate some additional income through services that people might hire you for there. Number five, your own products based around the content that you offer. This can be physical products, digital products, membership sites, things like that. If you're a travel vlogger, for example, you can put together guides based on the specific places that you go. And even though there's probably a million guides that people can download, the people that watch your content and that are into the things that you are doing, they will want to know what it is that you recommend, what it is that you enjoy doing, and what it is that you think they should do when they go to that specific location. Number six is crowdfunding. Most of us are familiar with Patreon, and we're familiar with how that whole thing works. If you are not, then you might want to go check out patreon.com. I'll actually put a link to them down in the description. There is another service as well called Partello, where your viewers can ask you questions and things like that. They give a little bit of a donation, and in return, you can give them a video response or a text response or something like that. Both of those services are extremely easy to use and set up and all that stuff. And I will put links to both of those down in the description below. Number seven is sponsored videos. You can get started with sponsored videos at Famebit. You can get started with sponsored videos at Grapevine Logic. And you can also get sponsored videos through socialbluebook.com. I'll put links to all of those down in the description below. Now, with that said, there are barriers to entry for Famebit. You have to have 5,000 subscribers. However, that does not stop you from sending emails to companies that you think are a good fit for the content that you make. Number eight, sending traffic from your YouTube channel to a website that you own. As an example, I send people to my website, tubertools.com, and I just mentioned that at the very beginning of my video because I'm going to test how much more traffic this video sends by asking or by adding that at the beginning of the video compared to me just, you know, putting it in the descriptions and just, you know, loosely mentioning it from time to time. And of course, I'll save that data for another video where I can let you know how well that works or not. Number nine is an email list. People that are watching your videos are interested in a particular topic set. And because of that, you can grow an email list based on those viewers so that you can recommend things to them in the future. You can share industry news on what's going on in the particular niche that you happen to be operating in. And you can tie this into affiliate marketing that I mentioned earlier. And you can tie this into launching your own products, which I also mentioned earlier, so that you can let your group that's on the newsletter know about whatever it is that you happen to recommend. Next up on the list is merchandise. Merchandise. And there's a way that I want you to think about merchandise. Merchandise does not have to be your logo or anything specifically about your channel at all. You can make t-shirts, mouse pads, coffee cups, all types of other different merchandise 
that has a theme around the type of content it is that you create. An example for this one would be if you make makeup videos, then you can make a whole t-shirt line based on funny things that people that wear makeup would understand. If you make videos about electric cars, I'm talking to you, Alex, from e for electric you can make an entire t-shirt store based on things that electric car people would find funny or interesting in some way. If you're a vlogger, making things that would suit your audience would be a good fit. The idea here is basically to know who it is that you're making videos for and then making the merchandise around their interests in the things that they might be into. I have some more videos on making money on YouTube. I will put right up here. You can go check those out if you would like, maybe just a little bit more detail into some of the things that I talked about here or another spin on some of the stuff that I talked about here. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.